Yeah, hi friends, Doc South with you. And uh, just mentioning uh, how much I enjoyed uh, DJing at the, uh, well, the town I grew up in, uh, Chester, New Jersey. Uh, yeah, I was there yesterday for their uh, annual car show. And I gotta say, I had a very good time. It was, uh, it was a very pleasant. I wanted to thank Chris from SC3 Entertainment for helping me out. Uh, he's uh, a very good sound engineer and a darn good DJ. And he brought his um, kind of his mobile studio uh, there. And I was able to patch into that and get out actually all over town. Normally, I just come with two speakers and uh, set them up and start playing. But he actually was able to uh, uh, have me heard from uh, one end of uh, the borough to the other. And it, yeah, I, I guess you can do it without wires and all that. And he, uh, he, uh, he really had a quite a quite a thing going, and that gave me a little more time to kind of reminisce as I played the records. Many of those songs I played yesterday were songs I listened to when uh, when I was a kid in Chester. You know, as I was, I let's see, my family moved there in 1956. I was 10 years old. And rock and roll was just starting to hit the silk. Oh man, it was <laughs> it was great. And uh, Chester being up on top of a, a a New Jersey hill, I think at about eleven hundred feet or something like that, uh, you could get all the uh, all the New York stations came in gangbusters, and I'd be listening to all those old DJs just roll off that. Uh, those great old rock tunes. Oh, yes, indeed. What I'd have to do, I'd have to get up to my parent, the top floor of my parents' home and uh, lay out an, an antenna and, uh, yeah, came in gangbusters. It's great. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I was I was actually where I sat up, uh, set up. There was a, I, I was behind a, a building that, well, when I was a kid, was the hardware store in Chester. And it was quite the hardware store. I don't think it is anymore. It's all sorts of things now. Uh, different, you know, gift shops to, uh, for folks that come to browse the town and um, enjoy. And by the way, I should real quick, I should mention Chester actually does look, a lot of the buildings I knew that existed for other purposes uh, back in the day, uh, now are pretty much gift shops. And, and many of those buildings are very much, especially on the outside, are very little changed from what they uh, were, again, uh, well, in my case, what, 60, 70 years ago. Right. And, and, and further back, some of them are quite old buildings. So it's fun to go there and just roam around. You actually have quite a, uh, quite a lot to see. I doubt you could do it in a day. Uh, but so anyway, so I was behind the old uh, um, hardware store and <laughs> it was, uh, I remember going in there and driving that poor man nuts. Oh my gosh. You know, you'd go, maybe I was going to be building a, a nice little, um, uh, what would you call it? A downhill racer, like a soapbox uh, car. I'd gotten, a, maybe I found an old wagon out in the woods and uh, they, it still had its wheel. So I and it looked like the bearings were okay. I dragged the wagon home, <laughs> uh, take the wheels, uh, cut the wheels off, uh, cut the axle off rather and keep the wheels on, uh, and then go down and see if the uh, guy at the hardware store had some lubricant and a couple of bolts I needed. And, you know, I'd be in there for a, a 10 cent order, if that. <laughs> I'm taking up half his day trying to pick which uh, bolts I need. And uh, as I recall, the guy was always pretty nice about it, but you could see him thinking, oh, my God, please, kid. I, oh, Lord, will you? My God, a guy wants to buy a, a, guy wants to buy a toilet, and, they, and you're here with four cents worth of bolts for crying out loud. You, you, <laughs> buddy, it was always first come, first serve, yeah. I, go, I was first, <laughs> much to his chagrin. <laughs> and... And, and then, of course, as I'm leaving, uh, he's finally uh, talking turkey with the guy who wants the, uh, you know, the, the bathroom set or whatever. And here's one of my friends, another one of my friends coming in. He needs, uh, 
he needs a box of screws so he can build or some uh, nails so he can build a tree fort. You know, and that that's going to be uh, that's going to really set the guy over the top. <laughs> the poor clerk. <laughs> and then above that hardware store, there were apartment buildings. I assume they still they are still there. It looked to me like they were. But, and I used to deliver uh, papers to the, some of the folks that lived on the top of the, lived over the hardware store. Yeah. And they had like little porches they could sit, if I recall right, they had little porches they could sit on and look at the world go by. If there was a parade in town uh, or a traffic jam or something, they could, uh, the, you know, they could watch the, uh, well, the passing parade, shall we say. It was neat. Uh, across from me, uh, let's see, it's... Uh, I think it's Larry's World of Birds, which is a great store if you if you need a if you want a, a parrot or a, a tropical bird for your uh, for your home, which is actually they're pretty cool uh, critters, very smart. Well, that was I think um, I think that was a mechanics shop back in the day. I'm pretty sure that was the case. Um, I know friends of mine, when uh, I was married to my first wife, uh, Molly, I think friends of ours may have put a shop up. I'm almost certain it was them. I uh, had an antique shop uh, kind of off to the left. It would have been the basement of the, uh, I think, the auto repair shop back in those days, back in the uh, 50s and 60s. But I think they, uh, yeah, they. I think they put up a rather nice antique shop in there. Um, up top side, I kind of forget what was there. May have been someone's home. I think there was one there. That no, then again, it may have been the pool hall in town back then. I'll have to think about that. There, yeah, you know, there was a pool hall. Not not too many people went there. No, no, wait a minute. It was it was uh, it was a luncheonette. I'm almost certain you could go in there and get a, it was more for the grown-ups, but yeah, you could go in there and get a pretty good cheeseburger, if I recall right. And I think you could shoot pool. I think they did have a pool table. Uh Uh-huh. Pretty sure. There was another spot a little further up the street. Uh, It's uh, it's a gift shop now. You know, something, uh, oh, it might be Prince or some such thing, but a little old lady had a very tiny grocery store there. And she sold pretty much canned goods. She couldn't sell much of anything that would, uh, if I recall right, uh, anything that might spoil because she, she didn't have that much business. But she kept a little, uh, you go in there and get a can of corned beef hash or a can of beans or something. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, it was just amazing. All the all the different places, how they've changed now. Now it's, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, sh- shops are, way fancier. And uh, the rents, when I tell pe- people that the uh, store my first wife and I had, uh, Molly and I had uh, what would be the old factory building in uh, Chester, which was one of the, of this wave of um, interest in old Chester. Uh, we were one of the first antique shops back in, uh, right after we got married, 1967, 68, something like that. Uh, we actually rented an apartment. Yep, we rented a fairly nice apartment and two sections of the store. And I think it was 300 a month. And we wondered how in heaven's name we'd pay that. I'd tell, I'd tell uh, various shop owners what we used to pay in rent. And they just, well, you got to be kidding. But, you know, it, it was a small town back then. Didn't have the vast crowds coming through like they do now. Uh, there's a gift shop further up the street. Um, uh, it'd be on the north side of Main Street and uh, more or less on the east end of town. That's a, a nice gift shop. That used to be the IGA. Uh-huh. And that um, that was pretty much where you shop for your groceries. Supermarkets. <laughs> there <laughs> <laughs> there weren't any. There was uh, there, there were supermarkets, but they were you know eight miles down the road. If you needed the hamburger quick, you went down to uh, the IGA and got it. And uh, that building's uh, I guess doing well as a uh, uh, you know a tchotchke shop, uh, antiques, etc. I guess all sorts of stuff in there. It's um, 
It's amazing. I think there's a, a, a Mexican restaurant right near the borough field. I think that was kind of like a malt shop. I think it was called, forgive me again if I'm wrong, but I think it was Ott's. Uh, Mr. Ott ran that. And that was pretty much a place you went uh, if you were a teenager. That was sort of the teenage hangout. And some of the kids who had, the older teenagers, the kids that had driver's licenses and all, the, they were 16, 17 years old back then, they, they had their hot rods there. And it was, you always, as a younger kid, you always thought, man, those, those teenagers are going to beat me up. I go in there. But no, they were always nice. They, <laughs> they just kind of look at you funny, you know, uh, what are your kids doing in here? Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. But they didn't really. I think Mr. Ott had a talk with them. You guys, hey, listen, you guys, you ain't buying as much as these kids are. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we'd plunk down our quarter and get a ice cream soda. You know, that was, that was uh, big money back then. Oh, there's so many things. The, uh, uh, it, it's just a fantastic town. And especially if you think back as to some of the, th it was a mining town. Uh, there was, there was iron ore discovered near Chester. And so, um, uh, what you see is trails in many cases uh, are trails now, but they were railroad lines. There actually was a, a freight train used to come into Chester about once a week when I was a kid. I think they had more trains than that, you know, when, when the mines were running. Uh, and you can see the uh, many of the trails walking uh, around Chester, uh, you know, were, um, were, were, rail lines to the various mining uh, uh, locations. Yeah. And evidently it was pretty good iron ore from what I hear. I know as kids, we used to uh, uh, tempt fate and get pretty close to the uh, mine shafts and stuff and uh, check them out. Oh, I don't think any of my friends, we, we were kind of told if we uh, tried walking into the mines, we get the whooping of our lives when we got home. <laughs> And we can't, we tended to believe our parents when they said something like that. So we kind of looked from afar and uh, wish we could go in. We heard tales uh, that when the mines were just recently closed, and that would have been like, you know, like 1910, 1920, something like that, uh, people, the kids in town could actually play baseball inside some of the mine shafts. They were that big. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Never went in. I know there was, on a, one of the mountains, I could probably find it. I could probably find it. But then again, I wouldn't, after all these years. It, it was something we all dared each other to go do when I was a kid. But there, above the mines, there was a hill. Okay, so the shafts were on the bottom of the hill. On the top of the hill, there were various vent holes for the mines. And you, you'd... I imagine if it was cold, maybe the miners lit a fire and this was a way for the smoke to leave the uh, uh, the cavern. But if you could find one of those holes, you could grab yourself some rocks and you could take, and this is a very dangerous thing to do, don't try this at home, but you drop the rock into this black hole. It, the hole might only be about that big. Yeah, but you, you wondered how much of it is carved, you know, is there more area carved away? Are you standing, messing or jumping up and down on some rock that maybe is only that thick? In which case, you're going down. So you'd, you'd creep out, you know, like you're in the army, and you'd take your rock and drop it and listen. And it would be like you drop, clunk, boom, you'd hear it hit. So you knew it was quite a drop. <laughs> And then we'd run for our lives <laughs> and swear each other to secrecy. It, it, was, um, it was very, very interesting times. I know that, re, um, that remodeled, uh, or that, no, uh, renovated, renovated is a better word, uh, uh, grist mill on the uh, west end of town um, between uh, Chester and Long Valley. We used to hang out there. Yeah, we'd be all over the darn thing. We never heard it. Never did anything that would hurt it, but it was a cool place to be. 
you know, all the elite kids were over there hanging out in the uh, in the old in the old grist mill. And again, that had spots where if you uh, ventured, you're probably going to fall about three stories. You know, I think what they had was a kind of elevator where you could pull up grains of uh, wheat or corn or whatever they ground and store it or maybe on a top sh- uh, top floor and and like that. Yeah, and maybe the, the guy who ran the mill stored your grain for you in a safe place. I, I don't know. But that that was a very old mill. And I guess they've got it renovated, and I believe they actually can operate the thing a little, I, I believe. And uh, But it was, again, something we messed with. There was always something somewhere in the woods you found that was cool. <laughs> Good old Chester, home of my youth. And uh, I I so dearly love going there for the uh, uh, for the craft uh, for the craft fair and the um, uh, the car shows and such. I will be uh, in the borough field um, for the craft fair this year. I guess I'm doing Saturday and uh, sun and and Sunday, so should be fun. Um, I don't know if I got the dates here. No, it's it's in early June. I uh, hold on a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, it looks like it's the 4th and 5th of uh, June this year. Yeah. Uh, usually the Saturday one, I've got to leave a little early because i got to go DJ for the Wanderers um, uh, uh, Car Club. They're, they're Saturday night cruising. But other than that, I'll be there definitely all day on Sunday uh, from start to start to finish. So anyway, enough said. Oh, God, I've talked way too long, but I'll see you later. And uh, again, Chester, pretty cool town. I I feel honored to have uh, grown up there. Wonderful place. I'll see you later. Bye now.